Brufista nasce nel 2010. Brufist was born in 2010 and it owes its birth to an idea at a time when the artisanal beer market in Italy was very different from what it is today. Because in 2010 there was a lack of professionalism in this market, there were many brewers who attempted to compete with the wine market rather than trying to sell beer in pubs and in specialized restaurants. That's why we are the first brewery in Italy to have started with a large-scale brewing facility with a bottle size of 33 centiliters with graphics of a youthful kind, aiming to do what others in the trade were already achieving with success across Europe. I began my career in the world of beer as a technician in the laboratory of Fuller's Brewery in London, where dozens of millions of liters of beer are brewed each year. I've always believed quality control within a brewery to be one of the main reasons, if not the number one reason, for the success of a brewery. Five years ago, we decided to make a serious investment in our brewery, with expanded spaces, both for our personnel and for our equipment, and naturally we began to practice a thorough quality control program that would involve the entire process, from the reception of raw material all the way to the packaging of the finished product. This quality control system has indeed been very thoroughgoing from its starting point onward with the development of analytical methods that we can call textbook ones with our own homemade production of all the reagents and everything that serves for our own analyses. Obviously, though this kind of approach can be satisfying and even professionally enjoyable, it was also extremely demanding and time-consuming because it required hundreds of extra hours with the introduction of numerous points when errors could be made, given that the laboratory process called for a great deal of manual labor. When it became possible to insert a system like Beer Lab into our program of analysis, we were very happy to do it and to try out lots of kits because they definitely simplified many analyses and reduced the time required for these analyses. This allowed us to dedicate more time, we can say the time that we had saved, to the introduction of further parameters and further analyses. With Beer Lab, the immediate advantage was definitely the speed of execution of the various analyses that we carry out here inside the laboratory. These analyses required very long time frames for overall scheduling, apart from the expanded amount of time for the procedures themselves, especially with the increased margin of error. And with respect to this error factor, I can say that the second advantage was especially how easy it was to use the kits that I was able to test. We have a quality control program that includes all known methods of analysis from start to finish, with the laboratory preparation of all the reagents until the full implementation of the analyses, but at the same time we introduced a variety of analyses that we could conduct with beer labs, such as FAN, the polyphenols, and then we also introduced on a regular basis the control of dicotones on our beers. And then there are still other parameters we are planning to insert into our control program during the coming months. Beer Lab has been especially useful for the development of yeast propagation, which we decided to undertake a couple of years ago here in the brewery itself, in order to propagate small amounts of those cultures that we had previously bought in liquid form from outside laboratories we decided to propagate them at our own site. To this end, quite an intensive study was made on the standardization of the must needed for propagation with a systematic control of the FAN of the fermentable sugars. Speed was revealed to be important in the context of propagation 
because in any case there are strict schedules and precise timing to be followed in order for propagation to succeed, especially with regard to temperatures. Consequently, obtaining analytical data in a brief amount of time allows you to understand if you can move on to the next step in the process. Therefore, to have analytical data within just five minutes, in fact, I think that means immediately, and this has certainly enabled us to improve the routine of beer production as well, especially in the phases of yeast preparation, which are unquestionably the most delicate phases, because it only takes a slight distraction. The slightest contamination during the process of propagation, and I myself can propagate this minuscule contamination, and the final result has been practically gambled away. I would have to throw out liters and liters of must, and thus potentially of beer as well. As is the case with all productive processes, optimizing the processes themselves through the use of devices and instruments that allow one to carry out in a few minutes analyses that would normally take hours to accomplish is an essential key to success for a modern brewery. Among all the kits, the first to mention and that I use the most is the one for bitters. For this analysis, one needs at least 55 minutes using the traditional method and with quite a strong possibility of making a mistake. In contrast, if one uses the beer lab kit, the time needed to obtain a result is reduced to five to six minutes. And then above all, there's the easiness of implementation because in fact the menu is intuitive and anyone can carry out the analysis without having university-level scientific preparation. Thus, there's the possibility of getting a result in a very small amount of time, with an extremely narrow margin of error, since everything is very protected and fail-safe, and the chance of committing errors is truly remote. La possibilità di commettere errori veramente remota. Within our program, which is not only a quality control one, we decided to include a program of research and development. Three years ago, we furnished ourselves with a pilot installation of a 500-liter batch in which we tested every new product on the market, from new hops to new malts and new typologies of beer. Naturally, in this kind of context, it's also fundamental to be able to check the parameters of the beer, because, in any case, one will encounter the use of potentially new raw materials, of new technologies on the market. For these reasons, having the opportunity to accomplish analyses, which normally require a great deal of time, in only a few minutes, is absolutely essential for evaluating the scalability of a batch, from the pilot installation to the general one. Thus, there are many advantages. And this has definitely enabled the Brewfist Laboratory, where many analyses are carried out. This has enabled us, let's say, to streamline the production schedule. But in the same way, that is, through streamlining, it has enabled us to cover a very wide range of analyses with, I repeat, a possibility of error, but margins of error that are truly reduced and truly narrow. The first years of the brewery were ones of continual growth, and with this growth, new spaces, new sheds, new containers, new machinery, a continual increase in productive capability. It also seems right for me to send out a message of hope, obviously. Fortunately, after all that has happened, we've restarted in a big way reaching numbers that were rarely seen in earlier years. 
I like to think that everything we do at the level of quality control is also part of this recognition during the current anomalous period that the market is giving us. I'm not sure, but I like to think that customers spend their money more cautiously than before, and they remember those brewers who perhaps don't follow the latest style at all costs, but who still invest in quality control, who invest in a well-made product, and all the time, not just once in a while. And I believe that this is a category to which we proudly belong. Chiaramente rientriamo.